you don't mind if I eat while you smoke? No, not at all. Mm. We've no bread. Why do you think I'm having my breakfast in here? What about me? Huh? Sorry, love. I'm skint. Well, you won't want this then, will you? A gas bill? No, I fucking don't. I'll see you over there. Move. <laughs> Spare me a minute, I need a favour. Ask and it shall be granted. A fortnight off. Eh? Well, I've got the days owed to me. Starting when? Mm, as soon as. My uncle died in Bombay. Oh, sorry. My dad wants me to look after the shop for him while he goes to the funeral. Oh, that's a bit rough, isn't it? I mean, your dad taking your brother. No, oh, Vikram's staying here. Well, why can't he look after the shop? Oh, I don't know. Don't you think I'd rather be lying on a beach somewhere in Greece, which is what I'd actually plan for my holiday? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I mean, I have to teach you all the fresco know-how so you can steal my business. Am I to take that as a yes? Did I have a choice? Oh, you're a star. Listen, don't be late, all right? Thanks. I don't know. How do we spend so much money on gas? I mean, we're both out at work all day. Hey, is she nipping home in a dinner or something? Yeah, yeah, she does. She goes in and she turns things on just to cost you money. Flaming Nora. Oh, I. Who's this Nora, then? Bit on side. It's from a mate of mine. Yeah, he's had a letter from the benefits agency. Calling him in for an interview. What's my advice like? Well, I hope this, uh, mate hasn't been trying to fiddle him. Uh, no, no, he's not like that. So are you. If he's claiming for something he shouldn't, it'll be a mistake. Accident. Well, they're still doing for fraud, mistake or not. I knew this bloke once. He got six months for working in the bar while he was playing it. Get out of here. Mm. And if your mate's got a track record like yours, he's looking at two years, minimum. There's no like a man making a fool of himself. Sure woman is in love. Hey, my lads once did some of that, Dad. It was lovely. He sang to me. You don't feel like making me a very happy man, do you? Hey? You don't have to sing to me. Get him to move his truck. Persuade him. Get him a drink. Oh, yeah. Hey, you. Uh, how much? Uh, just you leave him where he is, let's back to there. Maxine, your mother. He's supposed to be in Clitheroe. Oh, the moon wants no place to see you. He's got deliveries. Clitheroe, Rottenstall, and Accrington. Always as of a Monday. Doreen, I love you. Well, can't you talk to me? Won't listen to me. I will not. The man's making an utter fool of himself. Oi! You still here? I've got a delivery coming. I've told you once, Shorthouse. Sling your hook. Right. I'm calling the police. Huh? Would you do something like that for me? In a word? No. In a word, good. Dad, don't you think it's time to come down now? Can you come down, sir? I'd like a chat. No. You're causing an obstruction, not to mention behaviour likely to cause a breach of the peace. Are you married, Ossifer? No, I'm not. Well, get lost, cos you wouldn't understand. Look, if you don't ship this thing in the next two minutes, I'll have no alternative but to arrest you. Derek. What? He means it. You'll go to prison. Good. Without you, love, I'm serving a life sentence of loneliness anyway. Really? I can't sleep. We'll just lie there, hugging that pillow. You know, that one you made a mess of with the night cream. We'll wait for another day of hell to begin. Derek, come down. Why? We've got deliveries to do. We can still make Clitheroe. We? Oui? You mean you'll come with me? And if we don't get to Accrington and Rawtonstall, we'll just have to find a nice little B&B for the night. Hey, stuff the deliveries. Let's find that B&B. <laughs>
What's happening? They're going to clear the road. Both of them? Mm -hmm. You think you might have? Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs>